money can get you control and perhaps respect, but not love and affection. So this is something that I would see so prevalent in all these really wealthy areas in St. Barthes, in Monaco, that people's kids didn't love them. It's like the kids had to obey them because they wanted to keep the cash flow because their parents would provide for them, the car, the little apartment in Monaco, whatever it may be. And they knew they had to obey them and they did respect them. They're like, they've accomplished a lot, but they didn't like them and they definitely didn't love them. And it was really weird because you could see that the, the parent billionaires, let's call them, were really frustrated. They were like, I am providing you everything. Why am I not getting what I can't explain that I want? Like they would obviously want people to love them, to be affectionate towards them, and not just respect them, like their own blood, their kids. But they didn't receive that. And I think a lot of them weren't aware that's exactly what they wanted, but they weren't getting it. But you could tell there was this kind of like agitation and frustration. And that was the first thing. And I remember hearing this on also like a talk that somebody said to a bunch of uh, Harvard grads, like, you have to be very careful if you keep focusing on your work, because otherwise someone else will raise your kids in 10 years. And that was the thing that I really learned about having an extreme amount of money that will absolutely buy you respect. And it will get you a lot of control from people that work for you or even your family members, which is what happened there, you can control the situation. But what you really probably want that you're not aware of, that love and affection, it doesn't get that. So lesson number one, any thoughts about that? Thoughts, questions? Yeah, question. From your perspective, was the billionaire in question aware that they were buying sort of proximity or buying sort of transactional relationships through influence of their money and not love? Like, do you think they had a controlling um, desire or was it right? Absolutely. All all the ones, all the billionaires, again, I also want to say this for context. I interact a lot with the billionaires that it's called from the Eastern Bloc, the Soviet Bloc, a lot of the oligarchs, not a lot of the, let's call them the more um, enlightened billionaires from Silicon Valley that had built something that was really useful to the rest of the world and society. And because it was so useful, they happened to become billionaires. Like that was a byproduct of it. I interacted with a lot of people, like to be very truthful, that they were on the gray area of kind of being mobsters in the past. Because when the Soviet Union fell apart, it was whoever who had like more kind of power, financial, whatever, and we could seize certain assets. So it was a lot about control. And they absolutely really, really wanted control, first and foremost. That was like their highest priority. So what made them successful was controlling people, sort of manipulation, power, and influence. And then that was then transferred into their family life. Yeah, they tried to run, they tried to use the same skill set that made them successful in business to have a successful family. And I think that's where there was a falling out. Did they appear emotionally affected, like negatively, by the lack of love? Yes. Absolutely. So they so they were unaware of the fact that their sort of the need to control was also robbing them of what they actually wanted, which was true love and affection. 